Patriot Cup Series now tied at two games apiece as the Harbor Hawks down the Katuit Cadillacs 5-2 here at McKeon Park to improve to 15-8-2 on the summer. Hi everybody, welcome into Hawk Talk. Lyle Goldstein joined alongside Robert Marcello and Chris Lucy. And Chris, this game was tied 2-2 going into the bottom of the seventh inning and then the offense really just exploded for the Harbor Hawks. Five runs, or five hits we should say, three runs and they really just started clicking. Absolutely, and I think the headline from that inning really is Pedro Pages getting a base knock to drive in a couple of runs himself. I mean, he was really hungry for a hit. He was one for 16 going into that at bat. He worked a two strike count and then got something that he could swing at and then send in a couple runners and really help the Harbor Hawks out getting a little bit of offense, some cushion between them and the Kettleers and then afterward the bullpen shutting down a massive win for the Harbor Hawks pulling the Patriot Cup series even at two games apiece and maintaining a tie with Wareham who could pretty easily pull out a win in Chatham as we know they already have a big lead over the A's as things stand right now. Harbor Hawks used five different starters tonight to edge out a 5-2 win with Dylan Thomas slamming the door in the ninth. But Rob, before that, Nick McDonald putting together his best start of the summer. Five innings, a scoreless ball, seven strikeouts. He had it working tonight. He sure did. He got ahead of guys, really commanded his pitches really well. His best start of the season so far, I completely agree with that. McDonald, tonight's start of the Florida International right-hander, caught up with Danny Terzer after the game. I'm here with Nick McDonald. Nick, in tonight's start, you gave up no earned runs, seven strikeouts. What kind of pitches were working well for you? Uh, for me, I was trying to work backwards today. A lot of lefties in the lineup, so I was mostly working slider, change up, everything I can to just get them off balance. You were talking with Kyle Wilkie in the dugout about some of the signs that he was giving you. How was your chemistry out there tonight? Uh, over the weeks, it's getting a little bit better. I haven't thrown anyone except Wilkie, so me and him, every game, it's getting a little bit better, and it showed tonight. How important is that trust between you and your catcher? Probably the biggest thing in baseball when it comes to pitching and catching. You've almost reached your in innings limit while you've been here. How do you think you've improved this season? Uh, just seeing what hitters do throughout a game, how they react, how do they approach. As a pitcher, I try to stay away from fastballs because that's what they sit here. But for the most part, I've been doing pretty well. You've also gotten the chance to play with Eric Rivera and Pedro Pages, both of which are longtime friends for you. What's that been like? It's been great. I love playing with boys from Miami. Not a lot of guys from Miami out here, so I'm having a lot of fun with my friends. Thanks, Nick. No problem. Thanks so much, Danny. Now, guys, tomorrow Hyannis hits the road to take on the Falmouth Commodores, a long hour drive out to Falmouth. But this is a team that's really starting to hit its stride a little bit. They've been playing hot baseball as of late. What's going to be the key tomorrow to getting a uh, win on the road? I'll start with you, Chris. I mean, just continued confidence. I mean, where can this team go wrong right now? They have great guys coming out at the top of games. Nick McDonald with his best start of the summer so far. And then timely hitting as well. This team has never had any trouble setting the table for itself, as we've seen them struggle with leading runners on base at times this year. But when it's hot and the ball is bouncing their way, they're unstoppable amongst the best teams in the Cape. So I think this team should be just as confident as it needs to be to go out and get a win in Falmouth as well. What are you looking for out of Hyannis tomorrow, Rob? I think for the first time being in Falmouth, obviously we were there at the start of the season. The game got rained out just as we've shown up. Uh, just continue to play well, kind of really scope the park out. Really, it's only your only first time. So you just got to see how the field plays and, you know, just play well, pitch well, hit well. All those things got to happen for them to win on the road tomorrow. Harbor Hawks up seven points on the Falmouth Commodores going into tomorrow's game. You can catch that one on the Hyannis Harbor Hawks digital network. Until then, we'll talk to you tomorrow in Falmouth.